Let's do this. Second watch, third watch. Okay. All right. What's up, guys, on YouTube? All right. For those that didn't know, Soul Eater's official trailer is out. Teaser happening low on got downvoted to all hell because yeah, low on you know low on was a disaster and they didn't like her animation. So Smilegate said they're gonna fix her animation, her idle and running animation. So we'll take a look at that. But first things first, I want to show you guys the views here. 515k views in one day. My my main Slayer. After six months, 325k views. I mean, I went to Lil' On. I went to Lil' On myself in person. And I saw the Slayer trailer in person. And even then, I asked people around me that attended Lil' On, what did you guys think? Are you going to make Soul Eater or Slayer? Many people told me, many other streamers that I went to said Soul Eater. I said, screw you guys. I'm making Slayer. I'm all in. I'm all in. And then the guy that I said, screw you to, went home and did a poll on his YouTube channel. He speaks Korean. He doesn't speak English. And his poll said 83% of his viewers want to make Soul Eater versus Slayer. And I ignored all these data. I ignored the data. And made a backs eye level slayer. And here I am. <sighs> this arc is disgusting. Now here I am dropping slayer for the time being. Until entropy's fixed. Playing a soul eater. I just did a full 180. I mean free, a full 360. Here we go. Why did this happen? Let's watch. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Quality, quality. Why is it defaulting 180? I mean, 720. All right, no pies. She got that ninja rooftop jumping scythe skin. That's the founder skin. There are two. One is a bat. This is the bat. And there's a cat with some booba. I'll do a skin video for Soul Eater after the launch. By the way, join us for the launch. It is coming with the reset. I'll be making her my main. We will take her all the way to Daymine. Not much really lore. And the voice, the guy's voice, they usually like narrate what her powers are. Not much of that. She just, she does all the talking. Basically, the teaser or the trailer, the action, like right here, combat. So the white text means side skills. So she got her little demon skills. She has free reign, free control over demonic energy. She's not a slave to it. If you guys know any of the Delane assassin lore, she embraces the power and control it at her will. That's one of her awakening. That's one of her engraving. We'll go over that once we can pause. That's her second one? Oh, you can even see the, the, the buff animation, that white swirly cum thing. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Her body's glowing. Cumbie, chat. Cumbie. That's her synergy, 6% damage taken for 12 seconds. Counter, there's her combo, there's her burst combo sequence, and her awakening, second one. It's called The End. <laughs> oh, I love the name. Wow, whoa, dude, she grabs that side at the end. Dude, I don't... This is, I've watched this couple times and dude, the end, this, the character creation is crazy. They always one up themselves. Like right there, that snap, dude. Ooh. Holy, that does not get old. Holy man. There's, dude. 
What the? Oh, man, that's a lot of hype, man. There's a lot of hype for Sawyer. Man, people really... Man, Koreans love assassins. Like, they think they're assassins or something. That's why Reaper was so popular at launch. Everyone think they're like little ninjas and sneaky guys with daggers or something. I don't know. I also like assassins, although I grew up in NA. I like that edgy emo thing. All right, let's dissect this thing. I don't know, man. I guess people like this stuff. In order to really sell Soul Eater, she must not be Entropy. That is the reason why Slayer's population is so low. Not, it doesn't matter how bigger titties are. It doesn't matter how bigger crits are. As long as it is Entropy, it is enslaved by Entropy. That is a common saying in Korea. As well as her voice options were terrible. And her skin, lack of skins, top three reasons. And number four, her, her class engravings were not um, beginner as well as casual, casual user friendly. All right, chillax is not very chill, like Aeromancer. So I don't think uh, uh, Soul Eater's gonna be as chill as Aeromancer. I don't think anything could top that. But maybe she could be as fun as maybe Gunsinger in terms of the interaction. I don't know, we'll find out over the next month. <laughs> so one thing for sure, she has good voice, Assassins, all subjective. She has the best voices. She has great body proportions, lots of skins. As long as she's not Entropy, this one's gonna be a multi-millions. Multi, ten, ten, like multi, this is gonna be one of their biggest grossing product of Lost Ark in Korea, as well as any other region. Classes are serious business. They're gonna make nine figures with this. The question is, how many nine figures? Once again, not much lore. I'm so curious what a legendary skin is gonna look like. It's gonna look sexy and edgy. I think that's the concept. Like Reaper. Reaper legendary skin oof, top tier. That's the reason I made her actually. Okay, those, those are the scythe skills. It is the white icon. So if you guys like that little bit of melee playstyle, it has some mid-range as well. So scythe skills give gauge these shards, soul shards, shards. I'm just gonna call them shards. Candy. I might just call them candy. Anyway, as well as the green skills. I feel like green skills are gonna be more utility, like counter, CCs. I'm really praying to God there is a mobility skill. And her purple skill, as you saw, consumes the shard. But even if the shard isn't full, even if it's 9 out of 10, it consumes it, and then the next shard goes to 9 out of 10. So that's nice. That's a little bit of modernization. It's not like bards. It's not like artists. It, you don't have to fill it. And those are the purple skills. I'm just gonna call them pur uh, purple skills. They use the shard. And then once her bar fills up. Once her bar fills up. You see the Z there. I know there's a YouTube little bar right there. But you press Z. It, it's kind of like a Biggie Brazil Secret Berserker or Punisher Slayer. However, they modernize that as well. You can cancel it, which is really cool. Let's talk about that later. So in this gauge form, her purple skills are enhanced due to the engravings. We'll talk about those. And they still consume the shards. So after you consume the shards and you are done with your purple skills, you can come out of the gauge form. So imagine a slayer that can come out of the gauge form and quickly regain gauge. So it's like a faster Punisher Slayer feely kind of build. Just think of it like that. Right there, that looks doesn't look like Entropy at all. Looks more like Doomsday or Summoner. And that is her class engraving. 
So it basically increases the crit rate by 14%. And increases... Uh, so when she uses her... Uh, when she goes into the gauge form, her purple skills, the cooldown resets. Alright? And then, her purple skill damage goes up by 15%. And when she uses the purple skills in the gauge form, the cooldown is reduced by 70%. So it's like a very pretty fast-paced purple skills centric build this feels like a spec build for me spec swiftness is this spec crit i don't know we'll see so basically you build gauge you build shards all right next one so she builds gauge with the white skill there that is also her synergy skill the q skill and then w consumes the shard the candy and then consume another candy with R. And then use F. And then go into gauge form. Now look closely at our candy bar. That will not get wasted. I like that. When she comes out of the gauge form, she retains that candy bar right there. I like that. Okay, so replenishes the candy. And then her skills reset. So you would use the purple skills again. That's like the gist of it, the feel. Just understand the feel. Look at that aiming right there. It reminds me of Summoner. That Summoner aim right there. Oh my god. Right there. So she uses all her purple skills that are enhanced. Look at the cooldown now. Reduced tremendously. Then once you're done, you come out, you exit it. And then look at that. The shard that she had before is respected. Wow, it's still there. I like that. Modernized. That's why I always recommend like trying new classes because they're always modernized. A little bit. A little bit better than the other. In terms of convenience. Now the announcer says, however. Now this is pretty much a combination of purple skills and the white skills, but mostly the white skills. It's the scythe kind of melee kind of build. So as you can see, still same behavior. You generate gauge. Okay, you generate the shards. Generate shards and you deplete the shards using purple skills. But when she goes into the gauge form, her gauge bar replenishes, starts ticking down 12 seconds. Now you cannot use shards anymore and you cannot use purple skills anymore. So basically what this feels like is you gain shards and dump the shards by using purple skills and then you go into the gauge form. And then you get a buff. And then the class engraving takes into effect. Alright, so the TLDR for this, it increases your white skills, the side skills. And then when you go into the gauge form, increase that even further. So 40 to 50. Uh, also increases the purple skills by 40%. And then for 12 seconds, you get a buff. We'll talk about the buff. But you can see this glow. She has this buff animation. So in case you're like, I don't want to look at my bars. I want to look at the middle of the screen. Then you can see this glow. So right there, there's the buff. It's 12 seconds. So... Her scythe skills damage increases as well as the cooldown is reduced. Her attack and movement speed is increased and mana, rege uh, mana regeneration is in effect as well. So, kind of sounds good. Attack speed, movement speed, attack damage. I mean, the uh, skill damage of the white skills, the scythe skills reduces the cooldown and helps with mana. Hmm, that's a lot of help. Yeah, we'll keep going. You can see the side by side attack speed and animation differences. And that's your synergy. Um, I don't. The one thing that kind of alarms me about this build is that right here. So you can see. Let's look at the shards, right? Let's look at the shards. Let's go over here. There's a meter. That's the, the meter is depleting. I don't understand how that's going to work. So the meter depletes over time. 
But once you go into... Once you use the... Hmm. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said that using the purple skills here... Eats a shard, right? I don't think it does. I don't think it does eat the shard. Once you have all the shards, I think you transform and replenish is the bar. Right? So, ah, the only red flag for me here is... So basically, if I don't transform in time, I lose my crystals, my shards. Hmm, where do I get that? Where do I get that feeling from? That's a rhetorical question. There are some classes that have that kind of a, you know, limitation. So gather three shards, and then after three shards, I'm guessing you transform, and it replenishes that bar. Mm. That could be a red flag, but I feel like this could be fun. I feel like this could be either a spec with swiftness or swiftness. Once again, we'll find out in a couple days anyways. But this does look fun as long as I don't run out of the shards. And I can replenish. But it feels like just constantly harassing. Consistency. But that's kind of funny because like the other build feels kind of consistent as well. It feels also bursty but consistent burst. We'll see. Because remember, you use the purple skills, and then you go into the gauge form, replenishes the purple skills, and then you can use those again, and you come out, and because it has got the 70% cooldown, you can use the purple skills again, and then you want to use them again, deplete them, and then go into the gauge form, and it resets the cooldown. So you see the cycle of the other build, and this build is just like consistent scythe skills, going to the, get the full shards, and then go into the gauge form. And then the gauge form for 12 seconds, you do those side skills. Cha -cha -cha, do the side skills. Do 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 beat the shit out of the boss. Come out of it, gain the shards. Gauge, 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 gauge. Get the shards. And then activate gauge form and do the little side skills again. Da -da 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 -da. That's like that's, that's how you can imagine what's gonna happen, right? You get where I'm going, man? You get what I'm putting down? Synergy skill. It's gonna be a selfish class. <laughs> To be a selfish class for sure i feel like she might need a crit synergy armor break gun lancer armor break would be nice um crit synergy would be nice we'll see do we need double crit synergy we, we don't know that's her counter skill yeah i'm excited Woo, dude, the way she throws that. Jesus, man. But yeah, her running animation. Wow, I can't believe the first thing they showcase is the improved running animation. Yeah, one-handed. Okay. All right, guys. So that is it, man. That's my early thoughts. Those are my early thoughts. Um, now that I've Actually, one one shot that video, one took it. I think I'm liking it even more. I was worried yesterday, but then I now that I think about it, I'm actually liking both the specs. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Let's see.